everybody. Hi, welcome to 2021. This is Jamie from Horizons Light Coaching and Consultation um, coming in to say Happy New Year. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, wonderful New Year, um, safe, very safe, all of that, all that good stuff. So today I wanted to talk about, you guessed it, same thing everybody else is talking about come January. Goals, goal setting, resolutions, all that good stuff. It's interesting why we all just feel this this need to connect um, in January uh, to our new goals and resolutions. It's it's there's an empowerment to having that new start, that fresh start of the new year, um, but it can also get inhibiting too. Um, and that's a trap that we want to make sure we don't fall into is thinking, well, I have to wait for so-and-so and this or that or another thing before I can commit to this new goal. Um, and, and that's something that does happen sometimes with people is that they will, um, they will say, well, now I gotta wait, I messed up, so I'm just gonna wait till Monday, and then Monday I'll start my new diet or new uh, care regi regi regimen. Um, but whatever it is, is that you want to make sure that you keep going. If you fall off, you wanna keep going and come right back on, because um, you can do it, but people mess up, it's okay. Just keep going, don't stop, don't wait for another new month, another new week. Just pick up the next day and start again. Let it go, let the mess up go, let the failure go and start again. Because that's what we do. That's what we do as people, is we just come again and, and get started again. So as you're making your resolutions, your goals, all of that, keep in mind that you can do it at any time. Um, but this is a great empowering kind of fresh start that we feel in January that that triggers a lot of people to start making these resolutions and goals. So we'll talk a lot about this month about goals, how to how to create them, how to keep them. But to start, we want to just kind of think about how to choose them. Um, and there's there's lots of different kind of goals. There's long term goals, short term goals, bucket list style goals. Um, I have a, a list that I keep. I, I shared in a document you can find on the, the Facebook page. Um, are just fun things that I wanna do and important things that I wanna do through the year. Like I wanna make sure that I try a new style um, fitness class. Uh, and I wanna make sure I read a certain number of books this year. So those are fun bucket list kind of goals. Um, but then you also have your long-term goals of where do you wanna actually be next January? Um, and then your short-term goals, which are gonna be the ones that, that keep you going along the way to help hold you accountable to those long-term goals. So we'll talk a lot about this this month. Um, so today we're gonna we're gonna really think about just just how to choose the right ones for you. Um, so you want to make sure that you have kind of a varied a varied amount. You want some long, a couple long term goals, some fun ones, some serious ones, um, but not ten huge life transforming goals because that's too much and you will fail, and then you'll just give up on all of it. So you want to make sure that you keep it attainable um, and manageable so that you're not overwhelmed by that. Um, so when you're thinking about your goals, uh, did you guys pick, by the way, your word for the year? Um, if you have a thought about what you want your word of the year to be, I know some people commented, um, some wonderful people commented and they said uh, calmness or um, to finish strong, perseverance, um, trust, abundance, a couple people said that. So there's, there's a few different ways you can take your word of 2021. Then with that in mind, you can create some of the goals that you have based on that. So if, if your word is perseverance, what do you want to persevere towards? Or abundance or peace? Where are you looking for abundance? Where are you looking for peace? And what can you do to manifest that in your life? So if you, I kind of made a little chart. So you look at, I think that's backwards for you guys, oops. So if you look at your word for 2021, 
Then you break it up into, this is a little harder to manage than I thought, into three goals that are based on this word that kind of leads you there. And then you can build steps that will lead you into those big goals. So as you pick your goals, keep in mind the acronym SMART. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. So when we talk about specific, um, that means that you wanna make sure you know what your goal is. If you say, I wanna eat healthier in 2021, that's not giving you any any guidance or guidelines or, or anything about, well, what, what does that mean? What am I, does that mean I can never have chocolate again for 2021? Does that mean I have to eat salad every day of the week for the rest of the year? What specifically does eating healthier mean to you? Um, so you want it to be specific. I want to eat three healthy meals a week and cut out diet soda. That would be the last one would be mine. Um, and then you want it to be measurable. So that, that uh, specific three times a week, I'm going to eat a healthy meal. Um, that is measurable. You can gauge yourself at the end of the week. Oh, I drank 64 ounces of water every single day. That is a measurable goal. You know whether or not you achieved it. And those small achievements create a longer achievement and the big overall goal. So specific, measurable, uh, attainable. And you wanna make sure it's something you can do. If you want to be the CEO of your very own company and be making six figures a year, well, that's a great goal, but is it something you can do this year? Um, is that something that's attainable in this amount of time? That might be a life goal. It might be a five-year goal, um, but if it's too big right now, and you don't break it into smaller steps and smaller goals to get you to that bigger one, then it can lead to frustration and overwhelm and then just paralysis. Um, when you get overwhelmed, you can, you can just fall into that paralysis of, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go take a nap or eat some chocolate instead. Um, so specific, measurable, attainable, you can do it. Relevant, is it important to you? If it's not your goal, then don't pick it. You probably know about 50 people right now who have the goal to go to the gym three times a week, every week this year. Probably most of them will have given up by January 20th. Because the question is, is that a priority for them? Is that something that they actually want for their life? Is that something that they're gonna enjoy and, and commit to? So even though everyone around you is creating this goal, that might, hi Mary, that might not be your goal. And that's okay. Pick what is important to you. What is going to bring you to the point that you want to be. So close your eyes. Envision yourself January 1st, 2022. What do you want your life to look like that is going to be different? How are you gonna make it better? How is it gonna be different than now? How is it going to improve and change? What transformation do you want to happen this year? And make it about you. And then we'll talk later on, later uh, next week in the next coming weeks, how can we break that goal down so that we don't become those people on January 20th who have completely given up because um, it's not their goal or it's not, it's too overwhelming to achieve. Um, so smart, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and then time duration. So you're gonna have a goal that's gonna take you the whole year. By January 1st, 2022, I am going to have five chapters of my very first book written. I am going to um, have finished uh, an online course that I wanted to learn more about something. Um, or I have maintained a meditation practice each day. Um, but 
then think about the smaller ones. So you wanna think about what is my goal just for this month that's going to lead me there? What is my goal for this week that is going to give me that accomplishment and achievement um, to lead me into that longer term goal? So those are things to think about. Um, choose, so know what your word is for the year, your focus. Uh, choose three to five big goal, big goals for you for the year. Um, consider it really pin down what is important to you. Think about it in terms of categories. Uh, do you have a goal for health? Do you have a goal for fitness, a goal for financial, um, for school or career? Um, and, and pick based on different categories that you want change in for your life. Um, then make sure it's smart. And from there, we'll work on breaking it down into smaller smaller goals that you can attain and keep yourself going on. And remember that if you mess up one day or you forget or you don't do it, you keep going. You let it go, you just keep going and pick right back up the next day. Mess ups are part of life. We all know this very, very well. Um, so we will keep talking this month uh, to ensure that you are going to be successful in your goals for 2022 and if you are 2021 ah, uh, and if you are interested in some one-on-one -on -one help please uh, click my link below horizons like coaching and on Facebook you can click book now and you can book a 20 minute free discovery call with me and I will work with you so that you can find yourself exactly where you want to be by January 2022. All right you guys have a great day remember adult and thrive and I'll see you next week. Make sure you're working on those goals I'll check in with you next time.